stretch and reach. Heel like you were trying to put your shoe front on the wall behind you. Or it's nice and tight, put your rib cage up towards your hips. You guys look great. Once I see y'all all stand up, we'll go into our arm circles. Oops. Nick, what did I do? I don't know. Hang on. I messed up my screen. Oh, done. Okay. Arm circles are going to be 10 arm circles back and then 10 forward. So nice big stretch back and forth. Oh my gosh, Maggie, hi! Hi, girl. I don't even know how or when you popped in, but there's Megan. Oh, that's right. You probably don't have to be admitted because hi, buddy, because you're in the you're in the G Suite organization. Awesome. Okay. From here, five toe touch squat reaches. So arms up, round it down, grab your toes, tuck your butt, lift your chest and shoulders, right arm, left arm, and then stand up. So we're going all the way down, tuck your booty, lift, lift, and stand up. That's four. We're doing five. Here's two. Here's three. Lift, lift. One more of these. Down, tuck, lift, lift, and open. Last warm up exercise is a gate opener, also known as step over the baby gate. Try to keep your hips level. We're going up and over just like you were stepping in a doorway right over a baby gate. You guys are looking so all right. So up and over, over and back. So like I said, we're gonna be eight exercises in a row, all of them timed. I will run the timer. I will show you some modifications, some options for how to make this higher intensity, more difficult, lower intensity, less difficult, and adjust it for you guys. I will show you one exercise that you can do with dumbbells if you have dumbbells. I will show you one exercise that you can use a loop band if you have one. If you don't, no worries. The very first exercise we're gonna do is a pop squat. Here are your options. Level one of difficulty is out and in, full pop squat. Level two of difficulty, making it less challenging, is gonna be out, squat, bring it together, out, squat. You could also do a regular body weight squat if you're not comfortable with that step out. So Brenda, if that doesn't feel good stepping to the side in your squat, just do a regular stationary squat. We have 45 seconds on the clock. Pick your level, ready, and go. So if we're popping, we're going out and in, landing low in the heels. Next level down would be step out, squat, step together, step out, squat, step together. So we're still doing that normal good squat, we're just not doing the hop. And then Jason is doing the higher intensity option of a pop squat. We're getting that heart rate right up, right from the very beginning in this circuit. And then we bring it down, do some lower intensity stuff towards the second half. You have 15 seconds. Strong work, everybody. Sit back and down. Keep breathing. Oh, yes, it's warmer in here than I expected it to be. Five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody catch your breath and watch. Second exercise is a plank with a shoulder tap. More difficult, the most difficult is going to be high plank, tap the opposite shoulder. You can modify this simply by putting your knees down and doing your shoulder taps. Try to, if you're on your knees, shift your weight forward out of your hips into your hands. That will make this harder on your core. Those are your two options. 45 seconds on the clock. Ready? Begin. So Jason's going to do that high intensity up in a high plank. I'm going to do my knees. What I want you to focus on is trying to push down into the hand that's on the ground so that you're not rocking very much from side to side. You want to really try to stay still and tight. 20 seconds. We're halfway done. Good work. Press that hand up. Try to keep your hips still. As still as you possibly can. Go slow. Take your time. Be focused. Press into the hand. Even if you have distractions, like a dog in your face, that's challenging your mental. Four to 
two, three, two, one. Stand up. All right. Next exercise is a toe tap. There are three levels. Low impact is here. With the arms up overhead, just tap the toes in front. Level two is tap the toes on the floor, but make it a little bit higher impact. Level three is all the way up in the air. So we're lifting the knees up and the toes are tapping almost like you were tapping on like a step or a ball. 45 seconds. Jason's gonna do high impact, I'll do low. Ready, go. So high impact with that full hop. You can tap your feet in the air or to the ground. And then low impact is here. I want you to use your arms up overhead, trying to get your heart rate up here. So the more we use our arms, even in low impact, the higher that heart rate will go. And for right now, with this exercise, that's the goal. That's what we're after. 20 seconds here. After this, we're going to bring the intensity down just a little bit for the second half of this circuit. But you guys are doing great. 15 seconds here. Yeah, don't slow down. Don't slow down. Keep that pace. Less than 10. We're almost there, so I want you to stay right where you are. Don't quit. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Next exercise. We're going to come into our split squat position. So we're going to take the right foot forward, tuck the tailbone. We're going to come down to wherever is challenging for you today, and we're going to hold it. So most challenging would be that knee barely touching the floor. Less challenging would be higher in that lunge. Completely your choice. Keep your weight in your front heel. We're going to do 30 seconds. Start with that right foot. Take the left foot back, tuck your tailbone. Everybody ready? Go ahead and drop it down and hold. So, if you're almost to the floor, that's going to be more challenging on your knees. To make it less challenging, just come up into a higher stance, but keep the weight in this front leg. Be sure not to rest your hands on your knee, maybe on the hips. You can lean forward as long as your spine is long and tall, and we're kind of hinging at the hips and not rounding at the back. We have less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, come up, switch sides. Left foot in front, right foot is back. We're going to tuck that tailbone, weight in the front heel, go ahead, everybody drop it down into that knee. So remember, that back leg's perpendicular to the ground. We're weighting into the front heel. You can lean forward a little bit if you need to, that's okay, just make sure we don't round. And be sure not to rest your weight on your thigh. We're here, hold. Halfway. Good work. Stay there, you guys are awesome. 10 seconds. We're already halfway done with this circuit. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay. We're going to an upper body exercise. Jason is going to do the version using dumbbells. I will do the version that you will do if you do not have dumbbells. So if you have dumbbells, you'll be on your back, flat here, and we'll be pressing chest press. Dumbbells coming together. So if you're using weights, go ahead and grab them. For my people without weights, we're going to take the hands together, the elbows together, and we're going to lift and press. And we're going to do that trying to keep your elbows from separating at all. That's the challenge. And we're going to do this for 45 seconds. We're just going to wait for him to get back with his weight, and then we'll start. 45 seconds. If you're doing dumbbells, you're chest pressing. If you have no dumbbells, watch me. Ready? Go. So without dumbbells, hands together, elbows together. Pulse. 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 It's so crazy how hard this exercise is. If you're pressing, make sure those dumbbells are over your shoulder, over your chest, not over your shoulders. And your low back, of course, is flat to the mat. So keeping a nice, good, tight core, not arching back, feet planted flat on the ground with bent knees. 15 seconds. If you're with me and you're pulsing, don't let your elbows separate. Hold on. This is hard. It's not a very high lift. I want you to squeeze your elbows and your palms tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody relax. If you're on the ground, take your time coming up. You can use a band. If you have a loop band that you can put around your ankles and you want it for this next exercise, grab it. But I'll show you it's plenty hard enough without a band. And you guys who come in here all the time, you know this exercise because we do it all the time. It's called clocks. 
So the band will be at the ankles if you're using the band. If you're not using the band, you're just going to bend down into a mini squat, push your butt back, lean over. And then we're going to tap it to the front, bring it in. Tap it to the side, bring it in. Tap it to the back, bring it in. Kicks that way. So it goes out, in, out, in, out, in. So we're always going to come back in after you tap, and you're going front, side, back. If you don't have a band, I want you to sit down low in that leg, because that's what's going to make this challenging. We're doing 45 seconds on each side. Here we go. Ready, start. So if you have a band, you're fighting the band. If you don't have a band, you're just sitting in this like half little mini one-legged squat. Either way, push back into your butt on the leg you're standing on. Take a look down, try to make sure that knee is tracking over the toe on that foot that's on the floor. And then we're just going tap together, tap together. The leg that's tapping is really not doing much work. It's the leg that you're standing on. Good work, 15 seconds. Maybe a tiny bit lower if you can. Maybe a tiny bit lower. Heck yeah, 10 seconds. I know you can. Whew. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it up. Oh yeah, shake it up. Switch sides. So now we're gonna be on that opposite leg. Bending into that. Squat it out and go. Tap the front together, the side together, the back together. Bend down. Now make sure you're leaning forward so your weight is back in your butt and then try to pull your shoulder blades together. So again, we're not coming into this rounded position. We're sitting low, but our chest and shoulders are up. Nice, good, tall, proud chest. Good work, that's 15 seconds down. We've got 30 to go. Well, it's actually 20 now, but it's okay. You guys are doing great. After this, two exercises left in this circuit. Just two. And then, we're going to take a break, and we're going to get two more rounds. Awesome job, less than 10, maybe a tiny bit lower. Come on, sit down. Lean over, push your butt back. Three, two, one. Relax, shake it out. All right, two exercises are going to be on the floor, these last two. The first one is a hollow hold. When we do our hollow hold, we're going to start laying back with the knees up, then we're going to lift the arms, lift the upper body, then we'll extend the legs. This would be most challenging. Bending one knee would be less challenging. Bending both would be the least challenging and you're focusing on pulling your ribs to your hips. Jason will do the full hollow hold. I'll do the modified. 30 seconds, ready, and begin. So lift the chest and shoulders. Your knees are up, so if you want to go into that full extension, go for it. If you get your legs out here and your back is kind of like, not super happy. First try bending one knee, and then you can still bend both. Even if your knees are bent, pull your ribs to your hips, flatten your low back to the mat. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, relax. Flip it over onto all fours. Okay, we're going to do a donkey kick. I want the hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips. You'll bring your right leg up, bend it, and pull your heel towards your butt. From this position, try to tuck your tailbone down a little bit. And then it's a very tiny pulse where you're pressing your heel towards the ceiling. So we're just squeezing our butt cheek, not arching the back. 45 seconds on the clock, and bring that right leg up. Ready, go. So a little pulse. I want you to imagine there's a string connecting your heel to your glute. And so your heel cannot move away from your butt. And yeah, you might get a little crampy in the back of that thigh. That's pretty normal. So that happens. You can relax a little bit. We want you to keep this small. It's a very tiny contraction, just mostly through your butt and very little through your low back. You're already halfway done. 15 seconds here. You got it. Nice work. Take a little check in with your pelvis. Can you tilt your pelvis under a tiny bit more? 10 seconds. Here it comes. Five. Four, three, two, one. All right. Before we do the other side, let's stretch that hip out a little bit. So kind of sit off into your right side. Take your hands to your left. Kind of like a half child pose. Just to stretch that little tight booty cheek out. All right. Left side. Come back to all fours. Bend that leg. Bring it up. Pull your heel towards your butt. Clock is on now. Pulse it out. Imagine like a glass of water on top of that foot and you can't spill the water. Or think about trying to put your shoe print, like a full print of the 
bottom of your shoe on the ceiling. So you've got to keep that foot pulled in towards your butt. Good work. Awesome job, you guys. After this, we're going to take a break. We're going to get some water. The dog needs water. He's out of the water over there. I need water. 15 seconds. Hang with me. Keep pulsing. When you start to get tired, don't let that make you make that a bigger movement. Pull your heel towards your butt. It's attached to your butt. Can't sleep away. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. All right, everybody. Stretch out that other hip, too. We need to stretch that booty. We didn't stretch the left side. Take a break. Get some water. Maybe if you have a fan, I'm turning on the fans, you guys. If you guys were here with me, you'd have been shouting at me 10 minutes ago. We need the fans. So I'm turning on for you guys. It's muggy for sure. When I came in here this morning, because it was after all that rain, which I hope none of you guys had water in your basements. We had a couple people, including, we had a tiny bit, but we had a client who had some this morning, she said. But I came in here this morning, and the floor was like really, it was a lot of condensation, and the floor felt really slippery. It was very strange, but it's all dried up now. So let's see. I can't see all of you, but if you're doing good, give me the thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Okay. That was our first round. We got about 30 seconds left to rest. This second round, we'll go through it more quickly because you've already seen it once. So I'll call everything out as we go, but we'll take a little bit less rest. We'll hit round two and round three, and it'll be fairly fast. And then we'll be done. That's it. That's all we have to do today. We have 10 more seconds rest. We're starting with either a pop spot or step out, squat, step together, step out, squat, step together. 45 seconds on the clock. Pick your poison, ready, and go. So Jason's doing that full pop squat. I'm going to do that modification, step it out, squat, step together, step it out. Squat, step together. No matter whether you're doing high or low, when you guys, I can see you guys are looking so awesome. Keep working. I cannot mute the mic, so sorry about the dog barking. He likes to bark. Keep working at the wall. Oh, he's working at the fan. Well, I get it. It's new for him. 15 seconds. Keep your weight in your heels. Keep those squats low. You guys look amazing. 10 seconds. Such good work. We're almost done. Five, four, three, two, one. Quick breather while I remind you of your second exercise, which is a plank shoulder tap. You can be high plank or come to your knees. If you're on your knees, shift your weight forward so most of your weight is in your hands. 45 seconds. Jason will do high, I'll do low. Ready? Go. We're just like a regular workout video. Look at us over here. We got our, our low impact person and our high impact person. I love it. So your goal, whether you're on your knees or on your toes, is to do this without rocking from side to side. The hand that's on the ground, push it down. Push it down into the ground as hard as you can. We're coming up on 20 seconds. You guys are doing amazing. Good work. Stay slow. Slow is the name of the game here. When we go fast, we're going to have a lot less stability. This is an anti-rotation. Ten seconds. So our goal is to stay still and not lose that stability by rocking from side to side. Go ahead and relax. Stand up. Toe taps. Low impact looks like this. Middle looks like this. High is just legs up in the air. Your choice. Ready and go. So, if you want to have a target to aim for, like Jason, just grab the weight so we can just tap the weight. We're doing low, arms up overhead, feet out in front, so that you're getting your heart rate up nice and high. Ooh, I thought I was going to sneeze. Ooh. Oh, so good. It's still there. It still might come. We'll see. You guys are doing great. Halfway. Halfway. Don't slow down. Keep that pace. Remember, you've done this whole circuit now, so you know that after this, things become a little bit more uh, controlled, a little bit less high intensity. So this is our high heart rate stuff, and then we're going to bring it down a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Split squat and hold. Split squat and hold. So this is going to be your chance to catch your breath, although it's going to be still really good burning out that lower leg. Right 
foot in front, left foot back. Tuck your tailbone, pull your shoulders back. Three, two, one, drop it low. Okay. Remember, you can be fairly high in this. You can be all the way down with your knee almost touching the ground. It's totally up to you. Whatever your knees will tolerate and whatever is challenging to you today. 15 seconds. Keep that weight in the front heel. You're doing great. We got 10. Hold on, hold on. So close, so close. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Left foot forward, right foot back. Tuck your tailbone. Pull your shoulders back. Three, two, one. Drop it down. To that back knee. Hi, buddy. That back knee is going close to the floor. But remember, this is how you level this. It might be a little higher for you. It might be lower for you. Listen to your knees. Make sure you challenge yourself. Don't sit where it's comfortable and just hang out. If you feel like you can hang out here longer than 30 seconds, you need to go a little bit lower. 10 seconds. Come on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, we're so close. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. Upper body. So remember, if you're pressing with your dumbbells, Jason's going to show us what that is. If you don't have weights, you're with me and we're doing arm presses. We're going to do that for 45 seconds. Just don't just tip over the mat. Can you do this? So rude. So if you're doing your chest press, we're going to grab your dumbbells, lay it all the way back. If you're with me, we're going to start in three, two, one, begin. So hands and elbows together for my non weight people. And we're pressing the arms up. All the way. Nice work. Go lift and lower. You got this. Great job. If you're on the ground, oh, you're so strong. he just knocked everything over this dog. The timers, he's throwing fit. Keep pushing, keep pressing. That was very rude. Very rude. 15 seconds. If you are pressing, I want you to be sure your weights are over your chest and not over your shoulders. If you're lifting the arms, keep your elbows pinned together. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Stand up. We're going into those clock taps. If you have your loop band, put your band around your ankles. If you're doing it without a band, then you're with me and we're just going to sit low. Totally fine. It's still freaking hard without the bands anyway, right? So from here, squat it down, tap it out. Here we go. Forward together, side together, back together. This can be really challenging just by sitting down into that squat because we're working the leg that we're standing on. So that's the leg that's getting the majority of the work right here. Don't worry about it if you don't have a band. If you have a band, then you're just fighting that band pull as hard as you possibly can. Strong work halfway. 20 seconds here. Don't stand up, wherever you are, down into that squat. Don't stand up. Stay down there. 15 seconds, that's it. You don't have to come up. You can get through these last 10. You guys are so strong. I know how strong all of you guys are. Coming up on five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, shake it out. We gotta do the other side. We gotta do the other side. All right, I know the dog's over it. He's over there pouting. All right, other leg, bend it down, stick your butt up, and begin. Tap to the front together, sides together, back together. You got this. Hey, good news. After this exercise, we have our hollow holds and our donkey kicks, and then we're done with our second round. Second round always goes by a lot faster than the first, and then we look at just one more. So you guys are doing great. We'll pass halfway down today, and you're past halfway through this leg. So hang in with me. Press that knee out. Press the knee out towards that uh, pinky toe of the foot that's on the ground. Keep tapping. Keep those shoulders back. You have 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rest. Find your mat. We're going down on your back. Into our hollow hole. Let it lay back. Lift the knees, 
other route. Four, three, two, one, and done. Nice job. Flip that over on two hands and knees. And we have donkey kicks. So from here, take your right leg, bend it back so your heels pulling towards your butt, tuck your tailbone, pulse it out. Little pulses. Press down so if your right leg is in the air, press down into your right hand. Because you're going to notice you have more weight on that hand than you do on the left because you have a left leg that's also supporting some of your body weight. So that right hand's got to really push down as you're kicking up on that right side. Looking strong. Awesome. Keep it small. Keep it tight. Halfway. You've got 20 seconds to go. We're with you. It's burning. 15 seconds. Last 10. Slow and being still and stable. 
That's what we're looking for. 20 seconds here. Aries, you guys are doing great. The dog is already, you already have exceeded the dog's energy, so good for you. 10 seconds. Remember, it's our last round, so you don't have to do these again. In four, three, two, one. Go ahead and stand up. We have toe taps. Low impact, arms up tap. High impact here. Highest, you can actually find something to tap your toes on and tap in the air. 45 seconds, right into it, ready, go. So we're here, four, we're doing that high impact toe tap. We're just trying to get your heart rate up right now. That's what I'm looking for. When you get that little bit of heart rate spike, and then we're gonna take it down and do some more muscle work. So keep breathing, make sure you're still breathing nice and deep and even with this. But try to get those arms involved. Even if you're doing high impact, maybe pump the arms out with your taps so that we can raise that heart rate, pump more blood. 15 seconds here. We are almost done today. Finish strong for me. 10 seconds. Don't slow down. I'm not going to ask you to do toe taps again, so please, please don't slow down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Split squat. Deep breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Settle that heart rate down for a second. We're going to come into that ISO hold. So I want that right foot forward, left foot back. Tuck your tailbone, lift your chest and shoulders. Deep breath in. Exhale, sink it down and hold. The way that we're going to modify this is by being a little higher in the legs. It can look just like this. And our weight is in our front heel. You're feeling that in your booty cheek on the leg that's in front. Yeah, if there's something nearby, you want to hang on to it for balance, go for it. Just try not to lean. Try to be right next to it. Ten seconds. That's it. That's it. You can stay down in that split squat. Four, five more seconds. You don't have to quit. Four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Left foot forward, right foot back. Tuck your tailbone. Take a big deep breath in. Exhale. Sink it down and hold. much split squatting this week. I've been kind. It'll come back around. We did some lunges yesterday. We did. That's true. All right. Halfway down already. Halfway down last one. Maybe if the knees are okay with it, sit just a tiny bit lower into this squat because it's 10 more seconds. And we're doing upper body next, so your legs are going to get a little bit of a break. Four, three, two, one. Stand up. Oh, man. Shake that up. If you're doing chest press, find your mat, find your weights. You're going to lay all the way back with your knees bent, your feet flat. You're going to press the dumbbells together over your chest. If you're with me, we're going to go hands together, elbows together, lift. Ready and go. So, if you're with me, I want you to focus on really not letting your elbows separate. That is the hard part. It is really challenging to pulse this without letting your elbows separate. It doesn't have to be a high pulse. If you're pressing like Jason, just make sure your low back's flat. Your weights are coming up together over your chest, not at your shoulders. You're halfway done. Stay with it. Exhale as you go up. Inhale on the way down. Everybody try to keep your ribs and your hips pulled tight, whether you're doing no weights or weights. We have eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. If you're on the ground, stand up. If you're using a band on your clocks, find it. Put it around your ankles. Three exercises left, you guys. Three to go. Then all we're doing is stretching. That's it. So remember, we're going to say, let's start on the right foot. We're going to bend into that right leg. Push the butt back, lean forward, we're going to tap that left leg. Here we go. Tap it front together, side together, back together. Without letting, so we also want to try to have very minimal movement through the entire rest of your body. So we want to be sitting down, and we want to try to keep everything else besides this left leg still. We don't want to have a lot of rocking. So if you're using a band and you're finding that you're having a lot of other ways movement, then maybe ditch the band and try it without, because it's hard enough without, and we really don't want to be moving the upper body or the torso. 10 seconds, almost there. 
Don't go any higher. Stay as low as you are right now. Here's five, four, three, two, one. We're going to switch sides. We're going to shake that leg out a little bit. We're going on the left leg. All right, bend it down, left side. Ready, go. Tap it, tap it, tap it. Stay low. Push your butt back. Lean forward. Oh, my gosh. So good. You guys are almost done. So if it's burning and you're tired, hang with it. We're all here with you. Everybody's feeling this right now, but we can do it. It's kind of a metaphor for life right now, right? We're all in this together, people. Halfway done. Keep pushing. Don't stand up. Don't stand up. I need you to stay down in there. Feel how strong you are. 15 seconds. Come on. Coming up on 10. You can do it. Stay low. Here's five. Four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, shake that out. We're going down to the floor. How oh, hold and now we get to them. We're done. So we literally have like two, maybe three minutes left. And then we'll stretch. How oh, hold this first. We're going to lay all the way back, lift the knees, lift your upper body, reach your arms, ready, and extend the legs. With a bent knee, it can be just like this. Doesn't have to be any farther than this. I can feel my abs working so hard to keep my grips and my hips pulled in so that I don't arch my back. If that's comfortable, try first extending one leg and then maybe the other leg. 10 seconds! Breathe! Last one! Don't let that back arch. You're almost there. Four, three, two, one. Everybody, sit up. And go ahead and flip it over onto all fours. We got those donkey kicks. Hands below shoulders, knees below hips. Pull that heel towards your butt. Lift the ceiling. Go. Little pulse. Little pulse. Little pulse. Press down into the hand that is uh, that leg is up. So when my left leg is up. I'm pushing my left hand down as hard as I can. And then imagine a string is tethering your heel to your booty cheek. So that leg's got to stay bent at 90 degrees. If you get crampy, just ease up on it a little bit. If the back of your leg starts to cramp. 20 seconds. Remember last round. Literally a minute left of work today. Strong, strong. Almost there. 10 seconds. Here is five, four, three, two, one. Set that leg down. We'll stretch after this so we don't have to do that stretch in between. Take the other leg up. Ready. Pulse it out. 45 seconds on the clock. That's it. Last exercise of this workout today. You guys are doing amazing. Woo! Keep that small. Where's your heel? Is it pulled towards your back? Can you tuck your tailbone a little bit? Pull your ribs cage in. Try not to arch your back. Halfway. We're coming up on 20. You got this. Remember, we're done after this. Stay strong. Keep pulse and keep it little. 15 seconds. Squeeze. Here's 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Everybody relax. We are going to stretch on the floor since you guys are already on the floor. And I gotta say, that might have been. Now we might, I think we actually started on time. We started late earlier, but that might have been the fastest we got through that today. So give yourself a pat on the back. Go ahead and lie back, and we're going to start with figure four. So we're going to go left leg over the right knee. Draw that leg in towards your body. So this is our uh, normal fitness evolution stretch. So if you uh, get on a different time than me, just do it on your own because you guys know it. So we're going to go figure four. Hold, stretch that hip, breathe. Now we want to settle our breathing. Try to return our breathing back to normal. Next big deep breath, inhale. And exhale out. Oh, that's not so good. Go ahead and switch sides if you haven't. Exercise is such a mood booster. I was reading something today that was talking about, you know, I so many people have been you know, panic, not panicking, but you know, stressing about not being able to get their workout in. And it's not because we're worried about our weight or anything like that. Because this is for mental health, too. It helps your, you feel good. It helps you get stress out. So we need this. Go ahead and roll it up. We're going to extend the legs out straight in front. Sit up tall. Right foot comes across left knee. The left arm is going to hug that knee in, and then we're going to twist over the right side. So you're twisting over the leg that is bent. And really try to sit up tall 
over this. So like the hand behind you is straight, you're pressing through your spine, crown of the head is reaching tall. Awesome. I can't believe it's Friday. Did anyone else feel like um, what that week? In a way that week felt like a year, and in a way it felt like a day. We're going to switch sides. We're going to take the left leg over the right knee. Sit up tall. Grab that knee. Nice big twist. As you guys know, I'll change the workout routines every day, so come to as many sessions as you want. There are no restrictions. I would love to see you every day if you want to come every day. And I'll just keep incorporating stuff if you have uh, weights or bands, but I'll always have an option if you don't. So never worry about that being a limiting factor for you to participate. Go ahead and stand all the way up. We're going to round out that upper back. So hands come together, press through the shoulder blades, draw the belly into the spine. Try to make like a little C shape with your upper back. And hold the three. Deep, deep breath in, inhale. Deep breath out, yeah. You should feel good now. Hopefully that boosted your mood a little bit. You should feel accomplished. That was a tough one. Take the arms back behind. Roll the shoulders back, chin up, chest up. You did something good for yourself, physically and mentally. I know I personally need a shower, so maybe that's on your agenda for tonight, too. <laughs> I've just been waiting until the end of the day, so I'm going to do five classes. I'm just going to shower in the end of the day. No point in showering before then. Go ahead and take your right arm across. I'm not going to see anybody. It's no big. Whew. So tomorrow, Saturday, I've got a class at 8.30 and a class at 10. Um, and depending on how people feel, maybe I'll move one. Maybe I'll do one later, too. But we're just going to see how it goes. Switch sides. Bring that opposite arm across. Keep that breathing. Remember, deep breath in and out. Oh, yeah. From here, last stretch is our flat back. So hands to the thighs, chest out. Remember, look down at the floor. And then keep your hands against your legs. We're going to go tailbone up, chest out. Feel that stretch through the back of your body. If you want a deeper stretch, you can always come down lower into your legs if you want. We're going to hold that. Breathe. In and out. Nice, easy breathing. Stretch those legs. Oh, yeah. I'm going to keep reminding you guys to foam roll. Foam roll when you can. You need it right now. Roll it all the way up. Shoulders up and back. We're going to finish with a couple of deep breaths. So I want you to inhale through the nose as you reach your arms up overhead. Stretch high. Exhale out through your mouth. Roll it up. Inhale, reach. Exhale out. Give it up. Don't go away. I want to stop the recording real fast, and then I want to say hi to everybody.